This is an insane cast production. You are listening to Thanks for Watching the All Movies Podcast with your cast DJ, DJ, DJ Beth, 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 Joe, Joe, Joe and, Jimmy. and Jimmy. And now, thanks for watching. For watching. Welcome to Lucky Episode 81 of Thanks for Watching. Uh, I'm DJ, and I love movies. And uh, joining us far, far across the Windy Valley... <laughs> it's Beth. He's saying it's windy because my power just went out due to the wind. <laughs> yes, and uh, we're going to be lucky to have a whole episode here. <laughs> yeah, let's let's try to do it. That's right, exactly. So let's try to do it. Um, how was uh, your weekend? Did you catch a movie? Uh, I saw one on... Tuesday or Wednesday? Saw one on Wednesday. Oh, okay. So but kind of last a show night weekend. I, I went to a uh, a friend's twentieth high school reunion. Oh wow! That was a weird experience. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Very <Wow>. odd. <laughs> uh, anyway, well, twenty years. What would yours be? Mine's next year. Yeah, twenty years next year. Yep. Holy! I graduated moly. in the year two thousand. Oh, wow. That's right. So did Penny. Mm-hmm. What year did you graduate, DJ? We don't want to talk about this. <laughs> we don't need to. Okay, I could, I'll tell you. 94. Oh. 1994. That's not bad. It's not like you graduated in 1904. Right? See? Not even close to So you're fine. Right? Right? Exactly. You're good. It was after the big fire in San Francisco. Yeah. And the big 1906 earthquake. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? You're and fine. And, Yeah. Right. Yeah. So after the big 1990 earthquake. There you go. It wasn't technically that big, but it mm. was big. It was big enough for jazz. Yeah, sure was. It was close enough to, for jazz. Yep. Uh, I love that. By the way, I've been listening to uh, uh, all my Halloween Dr. Demento shows. Just yeah. So you know. I know, I know. I'm so, I'm so In into it. the Halloween spirit right now. I love it. Yeah, um, boy, we need to do a whole show about Halloween. I don't know how we're going to do that, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hey, this show we're going to talk about abominable. abominable. Oh, that looks so yeah. cute. Oh, it's yeah. I can't wait to tell you about it. And then Downton Abbey. Yes, Downton. Yeah. Yes, because we both saw that one. Yes, if you have any um, questions about uh, anything involving Downton, you let me know. Oh, definitely. I'll be letting you know. Excellent. Excellent. Um, box office numbers we'll have. They're going to be a little bit, er, what did it say, early release? Because, to be honest, uh, we're shooting this. I'm shooting it. We're recording <laughs> this on a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. It just so happens on Monday, 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 we'll be driving to Las Vegas. <laughs> At about the same time as uh, we'll be recording, we should be recording this. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Not happening at all. Um, let's see. We'll have a streaming good uh, challenge. Yeah, I got a challenge for y'all. Cool. I almost, I almost did a funny pun, and that would have given it away completely. So I'm not going to do that. Don't do that. No, no punning for that. Um, next week's openings. Which we have a few um, future films and a new discussion, uh, which will be for eighty two episode eighty two. Okay. So, but um, in the news, there's a lot of news, and you've already heard about it. Um, our some podcasts have already talked about it. Spider Man got an agreement um, yep. with the, or or Marvel and Sony made an agreement. Um, so, I, you know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't think it's going to last. Well, I, it's possible it's just a big publicity stunt. That's right. what I think it is. I feel like, I mean, you don't believe anything that you hear on the radio. You don't believe anything. Like a disc jockey, whatever they say is not true. Are None there of it ever disc happened. jockeys anymore? Or are they just like digital jockeys? <clears throat> um, digital jockeys. Um, in fact, I think one station is run, is run by AI on um, <gasps> Mondays because they're like, hey, we're not going to have any commercials on Mondays. Yikes. And so it's all by AI. Which is crazy. 
It's just all the same song over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> right, wouldn't that? And it's like well, there's, that there's a one <laughs> song by that guy. It's like, I'm in love with the shape of you. Just stop it. I hate that song. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's it. Mm. Um, some sad news. Sid uh, Hag. Hag? I, Hag. Sid Hag. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. 80. Yeah, horror film uh, guy passed away. Passed away. Yeah, yeah, that. Uh, crazy. It was that was that hurt. That was a sad day. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, uh, just recently, Robert Garrison, age fifty nine. Um, he was uh, I mean, in the Karate Kid. Mister Garrison. Yeah, I know. Or... I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, Mr. Garrison. <laughs> Mr. Hyatt, no, that's not the right one, you guys. <laughs> yeah, not that, not that one. Right. Oh, well, come oh on, computer, do what I'm telling you to do, please. No, do went. To. Please do. Um, hey, uh, also announced, but it's not like totally uh, a thing yet, but it's mm-hmm. getting close. Oh, that um, guy. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, it is a bummer. Um, Disney is yeah. uh, possibly making a live action Gargoyles film. Pardon my language, but fucking what? <laughs> I know. It's just a, they're just talking about it. I don't think exactly. It's, it's, Lucas says GTFO. You're kidding. Really? <laughs> Not kidding. Not kidding. So it's, it's possible that it happens. Oh my I God. Mean, I want it so bad. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think Penny's going to be up for it. She would love to see it. Um, so there you have that. Um, it's, it's possible. It hasn't broken yet. It's just like somebody wants to direct it. And if somebody wants to direct it, then there must be a script. I'll direct it. There must be something that says, I never volunteer to actually direct. Everybody makes me direct, but I'll direct the shit out of that. Yeah. If anybody knows or gives a crap. (laughs) (laughs) If I had a chance, I would let you. I know you would. You'd be like, I mean, I you're would, not taking no for an answer. Do it. <laughs> I would force you to to direct a play that I write. I know. I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> you <didn't>, right. <laughs> you didn't direct the one. Or I didn't direct the one you wrote last time. Though. No, I was so sad because I wasn't going to talk about it. Yeah, I don't want to talk about now it. Now is not the time. No, no, no. Um, also, interesting thing. Um, looks like Reese Witherspoon is trying to get in on TikTok. Are you familiar with this phenomenon? No. TikTok? Oh my gosh. It's like musically or something like that? Or mm. where you, you can like lip sync stuff? Okay. I was thinking about doing some Weird Al songs on that. I'll do I it. Don't know. I'll watch Under them. Under the. Thanks Penny for sends watching. me TikTok stuff. She does. Yes. Yes. She to, watches that like crazy. I have to go and get rid of a bunch of crap on my phone that I don't use anymore before I can yeah. put another app on it. I really right? went overboard with the Marco Polo and now I'm like. Oh, I know. Crazy Marco Polo girl. Me? I Well, other than the gender, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not crazy Marco Polo girl? Not right now. Sometimes. Just hey. depends on what hey. lipstick shadow I have. Oh, that um, makes sense. Right. Uh, but that's, hey, Lucas hey. says TikTok is for youngins, but uh, I say we take it back. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. It's not. You're, I mean, technically, it's for like 18 and over. It's not really for youngins. Technically. So like, we are old people to eighteen it? year olds. Like there are were we? guys, yeah, there were people at this reunion yesterday that I looked at them and I'm like, "Ooh, they look like my dad." Mm. Right. And I was like, "Wait a minute, do I look that old?" Uh, Holy shit, am I an old person now? Uh, <laughs> no, Beth, you do not look that old. Well, that's very nice of you to say, liar. <laughs> but no, I don't no, have I... a comb over, so I'm not that old. I don't either. I'm just shaving it off. <laughs> <laughs> now you look great. I'm, I've got to figure out something. I really want my long hair back, and I don't want to comb over. So I don't oh, know what I'm going to do. Wig. We'll, oh, you know, I have been thinking about a wig. Thinking oh. about it. Like how long know. you think? We'll talk about this after the show. Yeah, we this can, is going to yeah, be a weird show. The- for just like, hey, wigs. <laughs> let's get you a wig that makes you look like the Pringles guy. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> the Pringles guy. Pringles I guy. Mean, I mean, look at look at uh, who is it? Uh, um, Reba McIntyre <laughs> is the KFC guy. <laughs> right. That was pretty great. I wonder if the Pringles guy has a name. What is the Pringles is guy's uh, name? Yeah. 
He does have a name. Colonel Sanders. Julius Pringles. <laughs> Good oh, old Julius Pringles. Julius Pringles. Pringles guy. Sorry, I was thinking the Good other guy. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, isn't Harlan? But, Harlan right. Sanders? Something like that. I think well, it's that. You know what, though? We, I guess we should talk about movies. Bah! Probably. Uh, At this point, look, Joe would be like, you guys. You guys. You guys. <laughs> where are you at? Sorry. There are show Ended notes for a reason. Right. Harlan Sanders. I was right. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> serious oh, yeah. talk time now. Oh, yeah. TikTok. We're done with TikTok. Recently, yeah, we finished moon, that. It was her and her son. I saw that. I posted it on our um our Instagram, but it was on our news feed or not news feed. It was something else. I don't know how that oh, works. It was on our, our story. Yeah. Our story. Cause I thought it was hilarious. And so it just I disappeared thought, forever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know what went on though? There was a TikTok that I shared. It was, um, what's his name? Um, you know, Oh, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah. That was pretty funny. That was good stuff where, uh, he was talking about a knife from um from uh Rambo and then he got he brought out a knife that was from Terminator it was quite a bit bigger than this in the the Rambo knife it was pretty good if you go check it out you'll see it there it's somewhere on there if you missed it okay. um uh, there I go so hey by the way Instagram so one way you can chat with us mm-hmm. on on the uh if you wanted to contact us Otherwise, look at up our, our website. What is it? What is it? Uh, TFWmovies.com. .com. Yeah, that. You'll find our phone number, 512 Podcast, which people use a lot. They I'm do. Amazed. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and then, uh, what else? Oh, Patreon. We, we haven't uh, increased our Patreon numbers yet uh, since we got Tyler the week before. Thank so, you, Tyler. Um, and we are, by the way, pr- planning on having an earlier show so you can listen. Yep. So there you go. We want you to listen to us uh, live because it's a it's something that you pay for. Why not have try and get it? Yeah, we'll do what we can, you know. man. Yeah, yeah. We aim to please. That's what it's we do. It's just because all of us who have to wake up at the butt crack of early to go to work. Oh yeah, uh, I know. I know. I I got to get up at five a.m. to go to work. I mean, except for I'm on vacation. Right yeah, now. shut your mouth. Yeah. Nobody likes Sorry. you. Yeah, <laughs> I'll. Uh, yeah, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> um, hey, by you, the DJ. way, I, I finished the, the notes for episode two of the Elusive Exclusive, so uh, okay. I'll be recording that tomorrow and putting it up on the uh, internet. Um, I, mean, I don't know if they're going to go the same day, but we'll see. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one and that one. Eh, I'll check it out. Anyway, that's that. Hey, uh, let's talk about our uh, our favorite robot films. You want to talk about that? Sure. Yeah. Oh, good. Because I'm glad you didn't say no. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Well, I don't let's move wanna. on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, Crack Hat Blue put in hers. Cool. Are you ready? You hear it yes. is. Can you guess what the number one is? Uh, you haven't looked at the show notes, have you? Of course, I haven't looked at the show notes. You can <laughs> good. straight up count on it. Count but I on have it. not. <laughs> Right, right. So, so what do you think is her number one robot uh, film? I'm gonna say Alien. Because mm. there's Alien. That, that's that close. Android in there. And uh, uh, Terminator. It's actually, number two is Alien. Really? Number two is Alien. Yeah. What's the first one then? First one, Star Wars. Well, yeah, that was my number one. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it goes uh, Star Wars, Alien, Terminator Two. Okay, good. Um, Wally. Yeah. Oh, Wally. Um, Iron Giant. Oh, good one. I like Iron Giant too. Um, and then she has three honorable mentions. The honorable, the honorable, will the honorable <laughs> RoboCop. Please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> then oh, the RoboCop. <laughs> yes. Um, honorable Transformers. The 2007. Okay, yeah. And the Honorable Big Hero 6. Those oh, yeah, yeah. Older oh, Big Hero 6. Oh, A good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. La, 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 la. 
So, um, and now uh, Joshua s- chimed in from the internet because you know how I ask on the internet too. Yeah. I'm like, hey, because you know y'all people are important too. Because you know my my posts scrolled right through your eyes, and so Ouch. I want to know what you think. <laughs> Scratch yeah, the I, corneas and everything. Yeah, it's what it does. What I do, I'm a cornea scratcher. You can't stop me. Woo woo. <laughs> Sorry. You're such a goob, dude. <laughs> My name is Thrill Seeker. Is no. it though? No, not at all. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, Lucas. If I start seeing you hit weird stuff uh, on your oh. uh, <laughs> no. Miss J is shocked. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. Okay. Straight from the internet, Joshua says, "A uh, short circuit." Ah. Ooh, yes. Um, Westworld. Oh uh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Bicentennial Man. Oh, the longest movie in history. <laughs> it wasn't that long. I watched it in the theater because I worked at the theater, and every oh. time I had to go in to check, it was it was a long movie. I'm not oh. saying it's bad. I'm not debating right. its spot on anyone's list. I'm just saying it's a long movie. Aha. It goes through, like, three generations of family members. Oh, wow. <laughs> sure does, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, well, also RoboCop is thrown in there. And then he says, my personal favorite, Daryl. D-A-R-Y-L. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. that's such a good one! It is a good one, absolutely. I totally Um, forgot about Daryl. Thank you for reminding me of that. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, That totally would have been on my list, too, but... um, (laughs) You also uh, forgot about it? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I had I limited my list to all movies that I've seen more than three or more times. Oh, okay. Because it would have been a, a lot longer. A really um, long list, yeah. Yeah. Um, I like Lucas's comment on the Discord. He says, not as long as It Chapter 2. <laughs> well, Titanic was longer, so. Titanic was longer. Um, okay. My sister Sherry chimed in on the internet. Yeah, she says, Wally and Short Circuit. Yeah. Yup. Yup. There it is. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, I'm not sure who this person is. Ian oh. from Instagram. He follows us. Hi, Ian um, from Instagram. Hi, Ian from Instagram. He says, Austin Powers, Fembots for the win. They've <laughs> <laughs> got machine gun jubblies. <laughs> I couldn't argue with him. I'm like, yep, yep. That's definitely going on the list. <laughs> that is accurate. Well done. <laughs> So very Good call, cool. Liam. Uh, uh, Ian. 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 My bad. Liam. Shut <laughs> up. Don't no, make fun of okay. me. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Now you just made me think of a, a movie I'm, or a show I'm watching on uh, in, on the, the Netflix. Gianni um, Versace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Who's next? David Campbell from the internet. Hi, David. Uh, David. Um, so he put a uh, short circuit. Good. And batteries not included. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Exactly. Lovely. Good there choices. He is. Mm-hmm. Um, next up, uh, one of our loyal listeners also, or one of our wonderful um, w- uh, Patreon members, Lucas from 29 Toes Podcast, he says, a Bicentennial Man. Mm-hmm. Alita Battle Angel. There you go. Uh, Wally. Yep. Chappy. Oh. <laughs> I, I like Chappy. It was good. Um, um, not on my list. Uh, neither is Alita. Only because I've seen them once. Not more than that. Um, Transformers, and he says all of them, oh. including the original animated film. Oh well, yeah, that's the best one. And I, I can't argue with that. That mm-hmm. one should be on my list too, which it's not. I don't know why, but it should be. Um, because Wait. I've seen a lot of these Transformers, like. The one, the uh, multiple times, so that should be on my list. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I need a drink. Um, jeez. <laughs> no, I mean my lips, my my You're mouth so is dry. Uh, it's so dry here that we haven't had any rain, and um. it's not humid. It probably is humid. Anyway, I'm I'm moving on. I'm sorry. Uh, more <laughs> on Lucas's from Twenty Nine Toes podcast is list. Um, I am mother. Oh. Uh-huh. Stepford Wives. Ah, oh, yeah! Mm-hmm. 
Um, short circuit. Yeah. Totally. Um, and then the day the Earth stood still. Good call. Keanu, Keanu Reeves edition. Okay, the new one. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm for it. I'm for it. One. And then he says, uh, okay, I realize I am a robot film freak, so I'll just stop there. Uh, I think you did good. That was yeah. good. Well done, and sir. Like me, he says he could go on forever. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, another uh, Patreon member, uh, Teacher J.M. Strauss. Teacher J.M. Strauss. You can probably guess all his films. Wally. Uh, yes, Wally's on there. Okay. All that probably robots. Yes, robots mm-hmm. is on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? Big. Oh, yeah. Hero, <laughs> Big six. Hero 6. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. And then... Iron Giant. Yep. Those are all good ones. I actually, yes. Robots is on my list, too. Oh, that, good. That good. movie is stupid funny. Oh, it is good. I, I love mean, that movie. Me, too. Totally a good movie, Robots. Um, all right. Are you ready for the cast list? Yep. Yep. Okay, here I am. I'll go, go. first. Because I go first. Um, reminder, all of these movies I've seen more than three times. Or at, at least, least three, three or more. times. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, and then one of them, only one of them made my list because I didn't want to take it off because <laughs> I've only seen once and that's, and I'll, I'll start with that one. It's Pacific Rim. Yeah. I like that movie. That's Me on too. my list. Like Me I'm too. not going to have a list because everybody's already got all the stuff on my list. I know. Right. Um, and this one, the, my number one right now is probably the number one on the entire podcast. Star Wars? Short circuit. Oh, <laughs> No, Star Wars has only been mentioned once. Well, at if, this point, at yeah. this point, but Short Circuit has been mentioned several times. Um, although Star Wars is probably good. Oh my gosh, yeah, Lucas, I, I think the same thing. I need a hero. Yes, um, there's a great parody by the Luke Ski of uh, that song um, about um, hero from um, that that uh, the heroes. TV oh, the show? show Heroes. Yeah, yeah. So pretty pretty funny. If you ever get oh. a chance, Google uh I need Hero from uh know. Luke Ski or oh, Luke yeah. Ski Psycho Pokery used to be called. Yes, something yeah. Back in the day. Back in the day. Hey, yep. But this is not a music podcast, right? Nope. This is, I mean it very well could turn It is sometimes. We'd have to call it Thanks for Listening, but mm, you know, which we anyway. could have called the show anyway, but um, oh, also, um, I was told for the first time ever in our podcast history uh, by Abby, um, who is another Patreon person. Mm-hmm. I saw her over the weekend and she goes, thanks for watching because I watch movies for her. Yeah, there you <laughs> so go. She actually said that. I'm like, that, that's pretty neat. I like that. Abby, um, I cannot right. tell you how happy you made DJ just you by saying did. those words. She did. It was really awesome. All right. All right. I'll go to my list. Sorry. I keep, I, hey, today is like, I am off the 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 chart. A little bit. You're off the rails. A little bit. Off the rails. All right. Terminator. Woo! Robots. Nice. iRobot. Mm-hmm. Big Hero 6. Yep. WALL-E. Yep. Star Wars. Yep. AI, Artificial Intelligence. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, Bicentennial Man. Yep. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yep. And this next film, I have probably watched 10 to 30 times. I don't even know. Wow. So many times. Runaway. Oh! I know. Like, what is it, 1984 or something like that? Long time ago. Oh, my gosh. Long time ago. Runaway, yes. Um, I, I said Pacific Rim already. RoboCop. 1984. Good call. Oh, yay, I did it. I'm impressed. <laughs> I, I got one. I'm not going to try it again because you never know. It will um, never happen again. It will happen again. Flight of the Navigator. Yeah. Yes. Um, And I don't think it was like totally about, but Last Starfighter because like the robot guy goes into yeah. the, is the thing. And then um, anyway, um, Star Trek First Contact, uh, Star Trek Generations, pretty much Star Trek. Yeah, all your Star Trekery. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like the robots in there. Your track um, track. Yeah. And that 
ended my list because once I hit Star Trek, I was like, oh, there's a can of worms about to be opened here and I need to stop. Yeah, I should probably just stop now. (laughs) Right? Uh, Yeah, Star Trek definitely better than Star Wars, Lucas. Falsehead, falsehead. Um, You know, maybe they're equally as good. I don't know. I'm going to say that they have different... Because Star Trek is more the science of it, whereas yes. Star Wars is more the emotion of it. Yes. So they're different. It's like comparing apples to oranges. That's true. One is not better than the other. That's true. So, um, Beth, you want to chime in on any? Why? My list has been called. Called, called your list. Okay. Like, I like all the Star Wars. This is, is, is Terminator, Robots, Wally, Pacific Rim, Short Circuit. I'm putting Daryl on there because I love Daryl. Um, yeah, like there you go. See, it was just a bunch. It's just a bunch of the same. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all of this stuff. Just repeat, <laughs> repeat everybody's list, and it'll be best. Yep. Maybe I'll Accurate. just uh, I'll copy and paste all on yours, and and we'll see how that just goes. be all of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just under Beth's list, yes. Star I, usually Wars, you're really good at yes. picking out some obscure one that nobody like. I know, I but, like, I, oh. but I can't think about it right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so Joe, he uh, sent in one cool. a list. He says the Terminator 1984. Yep. Oh wow, that year is popping up. Um, it was a good year for movies. <clears throat> it sure was a good year for movies. I was. I, I don't even want to get into that part because that's a whole other. That's another podcast altogether. Yep. Um, Wally, you, um, short circuit also on his list. Look at that. Um, and then, uh, T2 is his honorable mention. What about Bill and Ted's bogus journey? They had the robot. I was thinking of that too. I was like, I was looking at it going, and I did watch that more than three times. Yes. But I was like, is that significant? That's significant. I mean, there's a lot because there's the bad ones and then they built the good ones. Good ones. Fight the bad ones. Evil robot uses. Mm-hmm. And then Station makes the creations. Yeah. I cannot wait for them to make another one. I know. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Me too. I'm just, I wonder how they're going to do the, the, without George Carlin though. I just, well, we'll see. You know, like he was, he was, Rufus had to pass on eventually, sadly. I guess he did. I wonder how they're going to explain that. Well, it's been like 30 years. That's true. <laughs> Good point. Good point. And even in time travel, people eventually go home. That's true. Uh, well, hopefully, though, they'll pay homage somehow. Oh, you know They it. really need to. Hopefully. We'll see. We will see how that goes. Anyway. All right. Well, I guess with that being said, we should move on. Away. Okay. Yeah. Um, how about let's go on to... Stuff we're putting in our eyes. Da da da. Shall we start with Abominable? Yes. Tell me how this movie was because it's oh. the How to Train How to Train Your Dragon people and How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, on my list of favorites. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, oh, yeah. Um. Well, no, this oh. was your classic love story between a girl. And a big, huge mountain that she wanted to climb. Actually, it was more than that. It was a huge journey. So, uh, it's great. This little abominable snowman dude. He's not really a snowman. He's a yeti. But I guess they're snowmen, right? Yeah, well, they call yeti. him abominable snowman. Yeah, well, he's he's a yeti. Um, and no, yeti. he escapes these people, these bad people. So fat and them. cute. Yes, and he... He hurts himself by uh, running into an ice cream truck or some like, kind of rice. Poor baby. I know. I know. Poor thing. Uh, he hides away on this roof. Um, this girl who just lost her father um, and um, has distanced herself from the family. Mm-hmm. Um, she has posted all these postcards or what have you of where her father's been. And um, she wants to take a trip because her dad said we were going to go as a family together. And so now she's trying to, like, take that trip. So, um, but anyway, 
I don't want to say too much because uh, I don't want to give away a lot. And, you know, the trailer did it justice. The trailer showed a lot of great stuff. I was disappointed that I didn't hear the song that's in the trailer the whole, all the time. What is that? Uh, um, you Make Your Own Way or whatever it is. But Oh, yeah, yeah. But I am not at all disappointed by the soundtrack. Um, there was some great violin playing. There was great music that, that the monster creates. Nice. It's, um, the a monster, the Yeti. Um, there was one thing that was really, really weird. Okay. And but but one of my favorite things was. Let me just say first that my favorite thing in this whole film <clears throat> are the snakes. Okay. And when you when you watch this film, because I know you're going to. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll see why. Okay. You will absolutely see why. All I have to say is whoop whoop. Um, it was good. It was good. Okay. Um, so I can't wait. And, and the music was great, by the way. I mean, that's the other thing. The magic was pretty cool. The the two boy cousins were really cool. They they you know did a, did a lot of great stuff. The blueberry scene was actually hilarious. <clears throat> well, the, it will probably make your snake phobia go away. Actually. They're, they're actually quite adorable snakes, uh, Lucas, just so you know. But thing that's weird and that I didn't like, and I think that they could have done something way different, is um, they made the good guy turn into the bad guy, and the bad guy turn into the good guy oh. halfway in the middle. And it was like, that was weird. I turned to Penny, and I actually said, quote-unquote, Oh, well, that's weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but but that's what happened. I mean, and there's this cute little mouse. It's not a mouse, a gerbil um, that sits on people's shoulders. You'll see when you watch it. It it really is a good one. The kid jokes were great. Kid jokes. The adult jokes were the great adult jokes that the kids won't get. So, I love DreamWorks. Oh yeah, DreamWorks did it. They did a good job. Um, I enjoyed it. I don't know if there's a, a, a TV or no, a book about it or whatever, but hmm. um, I don't know. Yeah. But I definitely recommend this one. I give it, um, I give it an eight out of 10. I probably could have got better, but you know, that weird, the weird switcheroo in characters is just like, didn't make sense to me. It was like they could have gone a different way and maybe it was trying, they were trying to do this plot twisty thing. Eh, I, I don't mean, know. They do that. Yeah, they do that. Um, and I, I guess if I were a kid, I probably wouldn't have noticed the difference. <laughs> you know, so. But anyway, so that's okay. that. Um, favorite stuff is definitely the snakes. You'll like the snakes. There's only like seven or eight of them, that, you know, and they're most of them are pretty much in, in a cage, pretty much. <laughs> okay, snakes in a cage. Snakes in a cage, that's right. Um, but I think that's all I could say about the film. I don't want to give away a lot because, yeah. um, because we yell at you me. for spoiling. You do yell at me for spoiling. It's magical. It's a huge magical journey and, um, it makes you appreciate the family you have through the loss of the family lost. Oh, I know. I know. All right, I'll stop trying to be like all oh, surreal on this one. Well, uh, not really surreal, but no, well, I get yeah, what you're, you're saying. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll, uh, I could go on tangents like crazy tonight. I don't know why. Maybe it's you're in my fine. drink. Uh, Maybe it's in your drink. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm drinking La, La Croix or La Croix. I don't even know. Lacroix. Lacroix. <laughs> Is that how you say it? I don't no. Even know. <laughs> well, that's how it looks. It's <laughs> like, I know. It, I think it's like French or French Canadian or something. I don't yeah, know. I can't. I'm, I don't drink anyway. that stuff because I can't pronounce it. Oh, okay. Got it. It's not the reason um, I don't drink that stuff. Right. I just uh, don't down like to Nabby. Did we talk about that? Did we talk about that? <laughs> yes. This is your classic love story between so many things. Oh my gosh! How many? Uh, love stories were in this bill, film. So many. I'm telling like, you, it's like the culmination of seven seasons of a family trying to survive. There oh, are a lot of love stories in there. They really are. Well, but ultimately, I, it's the love story between a family and their manor house. That's true. 
And then the one lady was like, I want to keep, I want to stay here or I want to leave. What would you yeah, do? Yeah, Lady and- Mary, she's, she's always been kind of confused about whether she wants to keep Downton or just be gone. Why would you want to be gone? I mean, that well, looks like fun. Right. <laughs> well, you know? uh, she had to go through a lot of stuff to get to where she was in the movie. Um, I'm sure. How many seasons did she have seven, to go through? <laughs> seven. And there's so many, like, in the first season, the guy who was going to inherit the manor house, or the house, um, who she was supposed to marry died. So then they had to find someone else or find out who the next person in line succession for the bloodline is to keep the house. And then she ended up having to, they were going to marry him. She was going to marry him. And then... You know, he didn't want to marry her. He was going to marry some other lady. So they were not going to have the house anymore. And then uh, he went off to war and almost died. And then when he came back, his girlfriend was dead. It was just this whole huge rigmarole. And then she ended up marrying him. Spoiler alert. And uh, (laughs) then he died. And then who's next in line? It's like this big just drama. So they're and always on the verge of losing the house. Not always, but it does have a lot to do with like where the money is tied up, who spent yeah. what money on what. Um, it's yeah, oh God, it's. I was literally as I was telling the people in Marco Polo, I was watching the movie, knowing that DJ had seen it the day before, and just going, "Oh my God!" There are seven seasons of plot lines all having things tied up in it in this movie, and DJ's going, "What?" Why don't it these was, old ladies like each other? <laughs> well, I kind of got the idea why they didn't like each other. I well, mean, that they was, do. They're actually super, super good friends. Right. And that's, they just that like to smack through. each other verbally once in a while. Right. And that totally came through in mm-hmm. the film. I mean, right. it was just, but it was just like, it moved so quickly. I, yeah. It was, I thought it was like a, an, a television episode. Like, they were talking fast yep. and just... Going, going from this spot to upstairs to downstairs to yep. outside to, and there were so many horses that freaked me out. And <laughs> it was, <laughs> there was, it, it there was, was that crazy. whole military parade scene where it was just nothing oh, but horses. My gosh, I was oh like, my god! I had and everybody's to close talking my eyes. about Mr. Branson and why he's such a linchpin in this whole thing. He started out as the chauffeur and he married the youngest daughter and then she died, but then they kept him on because. He was part of the family, and he fought real oh, hard to be one of them. Got so, it. I, yeah. I was wondering. Mm-hmm. I was wondering. And and then the whole point where he was going, uh, following this other guy, and I thought that was going to be one of those plots where he is uh, uh, having a love interest, and then it wasn't. And then there no. was a love interest with the guys, uh, the with the head house butler dude okay so okay that was another thing because if you have not been watching this show you don't know the things that uh poor barrow has gone through mr barrow had gone through in all of these years he's gay but you can't be gay back then because that's like dirty i'm doing air quotes and illegal so if you're not if you haven't seen the whole series up until this point there's just a random gay bar scene Yes, I thought that was really weird. Like, why are these guys just dance? What does this have to do with anything? But really, it was the beginning of it was it was like the first time Barrow had ever been actually accepted for who he was, and nobody was judging him except for the cops. But yeah, uh, but like the the butler guy who took him to the town to see his to see his parents and all that. The one who got him out of jail. Yes. He's the first guy who we've ever been like, oh, yay, Barrow has a love interest, clapping hands. Mm. Because that poor guy, he's been through the ringer. Granted, in the first, like, four seasons, he's the hugest dick. You're just like, ah, screw that guy. But you, after, towards the end, you just start to feel bad for him because he's so miserable. And that's why he's such a jerkwad. But then in this, it was like, yay, someone's nice to him, and he's being nice, too. So, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, no worries. That's, I was just, that was, that was pretty much it. I was like, didn't expect that at all. Yeah, just all of a sudden, gay barn dance. 
<laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, and then also the uh, I'm afraid I'll spoil it. But then like the the assassination plot thing was like, well, that was big. I mean, it was big, but that I was, was big, not... but also not a big deal made of it. No, not at all. It was kind of mm-hmm. weird that they didn't even. And then, you know, the king was like, oh, I know what you did last summer. <laughs> you know, kind of a thing. Right. Um, yeah. So, and but I mean, it just went so fast. It, to me, it was like a whirlwind of information going, okay, this is neat. I like the period stuff. Right. The, guy, the, the, the guy's jealous of the other guy mm-hmm. and the girl's a flirty gal. Mm-hmm. He should know that by now. Yeah, She's Daisy's a flirty gal. fickle. Yeah, but you could tell that she only likes him. Yeah, and I mean, so, the plumber was cute, but she likes her boy, and yeah. So That was a long time coming, too. That's a whole big thing. Good oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I won't show, say the outcome of that, because it's part of a part of the whole plotty thing, and if you're right. listening and you want to watch this. Um, I did like how they made, like, suddenly... They made a, um, it was, it was like a slow moving heist movie in the middle of the movie. Yes. Yes. I was like, this is fantastic. This is, this is peak Downton Abbey. I was, I was entertained the whole time. Um, I didn't go to the bathroom in the middle of it and that's something I needed to do. Um, cause I was truly interested to see what was going to happen next. And you were worried you'd miss something. I, I was going to miss something if the I The one left thing that will explain all of this. Turns out the one thing that will explain all of this will watch will be watching the show. <laughs> well, I think they did a good job at explaining everything in the film that was yeah. that started in the film. Um, well, yeah, yeah. The 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 bickering uh the 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 cousin coming in and and why she's not inheriting stuff to somebody else. Right. And and stuff that's so you know, much of the show revolves around inheritance. It does. And I get nothing. So <laughs> what do I care about inheritance? Right. I'll probably inherit a, a, a flea ridden trailer. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Uh, <laughs> that I'll sell for a hundred, but 50 bucks. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I yeah. So, say that. uh, what is, what would you rate it? Oh gosh. Uh, what would I rate it? I would go with an eight as well. Pretty solid okay. eight, especially because nice. because I stayed entertained the whole time. It was yeah. it was a fun film. Um, it explained everything that I needed explained. Mm-hmm. Um, everything you else know. you can come to me for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, Penny, she'd have to watch it again. She fell asleep. Yeah, that's what she said. It. I was talking yeah. on uh, Marco Polo about it earlier. Yeah, <laughs> she's like. I'm not sure what she saw, what she didn't see. So, <laughs> in yeah. fact, when I turned and, was, and I turned to her and sleepy. said, uh, "I said, oh, I didn't expect this. I don't even know if she was awake when I said that." <laughs> well, you know, yeah. it's she's tired, and it was yeah. It's it's a slow mover. And my my father in law was sitting right next to me, and his head was uh, down, his chin to his chest. Fall asleep oh, he too. was asleep too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, and it's probably because he had no idea anything about the show. And right, I told him about it. I said it's only going to be talking. Um, you're just going to be watching words. That's it. <laughs> and uh, he's like, "Oh, that's okay. I don't care. I want to see the scenery. I want to see what they do in the uh, in the 1920s." Yeah. So I was like, "Okay, well, let's do it." And and so he went and. He saw what he needed to see, and then he was out. There you go. Yeah. What about you? What did you? What was your favorite scene? My favorite if you had one. scene. Well, I really liked. Uh, I really liked the heist scene. Yeah. Um, the whole scene with Mosley talking to the king and queen was just. That is so, Mister Mosley. It was so funny. Um, and then he curtsies. Oh, oh yes, that guy who, who announces yeah. the 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 plot twist or not the plot twist but the the, the, the switcheroo of all the yeah, people of all the the staff it yeah, was that was funny so funny and so mr mosley i really liked that i really liked all of the the granny smackdowns because yeah, that's something yeah. that you've come to expect from a good episode of downton abbey is a matchup between isabel and violet and just 
snarky barbs, like the slowest one-liners. They're so funny. Um, yeah. Love it. They were good. I think I would probably give it... I would probably give it a nine. Okay. okay. As for, I mean, if you've seen Downton Abbey. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe had I seen it, I probably would have rated it higher. But probably. I'm, I'm I mean, rating it, was, it as a standalone movie. I it suppose. was a great episode of Downton Abbey, <laughs> yeah, is what it was. Um, <laughs> it was a longer episode. They it didn't was, want it to make it an hour. Yeah, it was longer and, you know, bigger. There are more crane shots of the Abbey. Like, yeah, it was it was beautiful. It's a beautiful house. It's ridiculous. Yeah. The architecture and like all yeah. the lawns, all the gardens and whatnot. It's oh just so God. pretty. And uh, the music, of course, I love it. Yeah. It's, oh, oh. It's such a beautiful show. Like, everything about it is beautiful. Yeah. Like, the locations, the costumes, everything. It's just so pretty. Yeah. And I'm Ooh. done gushing about Downton Abbey now. <laughs> you know, I don't think I saw a single dog butt, but I did see the dog. Uh, it yeah. Was- okay, so they didn't do the beginning credits the way they normally do it, because it wasn't no. actually an episode of Downton Abbey. But you saw the dog, and that's not the original dog, because I think in season six, the original dog Ice has passed away. Oh, no. So there was, and Lord Grantham was heartbroken. So uh, Mary and Edith got him a new puppy. Aw. And that was the dog that you saw in this one. Oh, okay. So, got it. Cool. Yeah. That's the story of that. (laughs) That's the story. That's the story. (laughs) Got it. Well, um,. Cool. I think that's everything we put in our eyes, unless you could think of another one. Did you see another movie? Uh, I feel like I did. I feel like I watched something this week. What was yeah. it? Well, it I was know it was Down to Nabby, and then you also saw It, Chapter 2. We, we already did, talked about it. I did, but we it. talked about it. That was last week. Eh, if I come up with it, I'll let you know. Okay, that worked. Yeah. Um, all right, let's move on to the challenge this week, y'all. Yeah, you ready for it. the challenge? Okay. Um, last week's challenge was the movie Grown Ups. That's mm-hmm. right, Grown Ups. Uh, Crackhead Blue and Teacher J.M. Strauss both got that. Um, and uh, Lucas, I know you were in there because <laughs> Crackhead Blue threw it up there in the Discord. And I think you mentioned that um, you had not, or you were like, I had no idea, or something like that. I'm mm-hmm. guessing. I think that's what it was. Because I don't want to count you out if you didn't see it, or if you did catch it, I missed it. Um, but that's what I'm guessing happened. The movie yeah. Grown Ups. So, anyway, um, uh, yeah. He's oh, he says he should have gotten that. <laughs> All right, <laughs> here we go. Here's today's. Uh, what? Let me turn up my volume. Um, All right, there we go. Okay. Ready, set, go. Over my dress too. Say lovey. Lovey. Nice, solid joke. <laughs> Wow. So, we could have revisited Melody's bedroom. Oh, my God. That was Melody Bostick's house. I can't believe you remember that. Well, yeah, come on. Who doesn't remember their first almost kiss? Hey, Olive. Evan. Hey, what's rocking? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? Don't get mad, but uh, Brandon told me what you did for him. Oh, well, rest assured it was equally as thrilling for me. <laughs> no, he told me the truth. There we go. Hopefully that's not too difficult. Should be. Okay, I won't say it. I won't say it. Yeah, don't I almost do did. it. I almost did. Ugh. I gotta move on. There's your guy, the thing. 512 podcast. There we go. Just uh, send us a text. What do you think it is? Um, yes. Uh, Dude, I can, I can oh hear how God. hard it is for you to hold on to that right now. Uh, you have no idea. Puns no, galore. Uh, Puns so many. Galore. Oh, wow. Um... But yes, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, um, good job, Lucas, good job. Um, where are we now? Um, streaming, what have we yeah, been yeah. streaming? I have three things on the board, I don't know if you want to go first? What are no, you streaming right now? Oh, me? Yeah. Okay, all right, I'll go first. Um, first one I streamed was an Amazon uh, original film called Wiener Dog. Oh, yeah. 
absolutely hilarious film. Um, cool. You know what it reminds me of? Um, Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of a, I don't know if you, it's like a slow burn kind of a thing, but okay. there's just so much going on, it's just pretty hilarious. <laughs> um, and there's some ridiculousness about it, including... Uh, the dog does die. It's just yeah, heard kind of ridiculous the way it happens. Oh. So, and it just reminds me of an Austin Powers scene. Oh. Where the guy in the, in the uh, what is it, the, the big, the big thing, there's like yelling, no, stop. And then the other guy's still going and don't stop the security guy and saying stop. And, and Austin Powers just rolls right over him. Right. That didn't actually happen at all, but okay, <laughs> just reminds me of that. <laughs> That's not weird the way you did that at all. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Maybe it's maybe it's another one where you know there was that parade or whatever. The guy gets run over, and then then this other thing runs it over, and then there's the 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 band marches across them and. Remember oh, that that's scene? in that's in the end of a uh, that's a naked gun movie. That's it, naked gun movie. That's another one. It's, I think it's the second yeah. one, right? When he, I think in so. The baseball park. Yeah, naked oh, wait, gun uh, two and a half. Tw- or yeah, two and a like half. That. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, like I said, comedy. It was pretty. I, I think it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. Um, check it out, Wiener Dog on Amazon. But heads up, the dog dies. Heads up. The dog dies in a comic tragic death. Oh. But it is that comical. Was, Penny sent me a text. She's like, don't watch it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah? She's all, the dog dies. I know you don't like movies where the dog dies. <laughs> but I don't think you'll cry. And it's not a real dog. It's a fake. I just don't like to be sad. I know. I, know. <laughs> I mean, we did, like, kind of go. Uh, anyway. Cool. Oh. All right. Yeah. So what else <clears throat> did you what else did I see? Um, Thing. Oh, I saw this film about this artist, John uh, Colohan. Yeah, I guess. Say that again. Las Vegas? What? Did I lose you? Oh, well. Very, very possible that she lost power again. Um, so, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, don't worry. Uh, he won't get far on foot. The artist, uh, John, uh, was it John Callahan, um, in in a film called Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot. Oh. Yes. uh, That's also on Amazon Prime, um, Mm -hmm. an Amazon original film. Um, But it was it was pretty good. It was neat. It was uh, it has Jack Black and Jonah Hill. Nice. um, And uh, the guy that's playing Joker. um, Joaquin Phoenix. Yes. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix plays the the artist um, John uh, Callahan, mm. who has a drinking problem and uh, ends up in a car with the character um, played by Jack, uh, Jack Black. Mm. Um, they fall asleep and crash the car, and he wakes up paraplegic. Oh, uh, so he ends up paraplegic and. Uh, and then he goes through even worse of a drinking problem. And then it shows the uh, the 12 steps of AA, and he goes through it and um, becomes this great artist who makes, like, a lot of money as an artist and um, and goes and makes and does talks and all that kind of stuff. Huh. Yeah, it's a, it's a feel-good kind of a movie. Yeah. Cool. That's that. So it was fun. I liked it. Um, Amazon Prime. Um, I liked it for the title. I was like, huh, that looks funny. And then, of course, one of the things he draws is himself in a wheelchair. Uh, no, no, him outside of a wheelchair and the police there going, don't worry, he won't get far on foot. There okay. lies the, the funny. That's terrible. <laughs> I know, but hey, it's his own joke. So we, however he wants to do it, you know, that's fine. Um, so, and then also we just started season nine of Shameless, so okay. I won't, I won't tell you much more about that until we finish the whole season. So, and that's, that's all I've got. Um, what are you streaming right now, Beth? I'm not actually streaming anything right now. I'm shocked. I'm also shocked. I've been, uh, looking at stuff on the internet though. So. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, yeah. 
Um, I started watching The Boys on oh, yeah. on the Amazon Prime, and oh, that's right. I'm like two or three episodes in, and I think it's good. Why? What is that noise all about? That's the dog drinking. Oh. She drinks, and then she chokes on her own drinking. Oh, poor baby. It, that's um, life of her small trachea. Right. Um, so I think it's good from what I have seen. Like I said, I'm, I think um, I'm too in. It's very, it's super commentary about, uh, uh like power corrupting. Yes. Them. Yes. Um, I, I forgot to put that on the notes. I finished the boys. Oh, okay. Actually. So I'm just at the, uh, You're at the second episode, right? Or you just yeah, finished yeah. it? The second episode. I finished it, so, and so the the blowing up has occurred. The blowing um, up is hilarious. That right? I was so <laughs> shocked. Um, okay, so just so you're aware, I thought the first two episodes of The Boys was kind of like, meh. They're all a right. slow, right? You're trying to yeah. get into it. Right, exactly. And then by the time we get to the end of the seasons, or the whole season... I am wanting more. It was, I don't know what it was, but it was just like, they got over the shock stuff. They got over all the nudity and all that extra stuff. That was done after the first two or three episodes. Okay. And then they got into the story and they like did what, instead of the shocking stuff, they right. did what we'd expect and actually have a story. Well, that um, sort of was, um, Lucas and I were kind of talking about that too, uh, with Carnival Row. Okay. The first couple of episodes, you're like, uh, yeah. What what is this? Why wh- what is the thread that ties all this together? And then come episode 4 it's like pow, oh there's a story. We should yes. I see. So um yeah, I'm I'm going to finish it. I just I got distracted by things like yeah. Downton Abbey and my birthday was on <laughs> Tuesday, so I didn't do a whole lot of um yeah. Yeah, so I've just been been running around. Oh, I know. You got a a lot of happy birthday from dogs. (laughs) (laughs) That was so great. That totally made my day. On on, uh, the Marco Polo, everybody was smooshing their dogs, making them say happy birthday. It was fantastic. And then I got a smoosh Joe face saying happy birthday, too. So (laughs) (laughs) that was great. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Um, Yeah, I think. Oh, I but yeah, um, streamed okay. Disenchantment on Netflix oh, the second season, and it's it. it's glorious. Of course, it's so it's so good. It's I love Disenchantment. Is, so if huh. you haven't seen that, you should give it a give it a look. It looks very Simpsonsy, but it's also very fantasy based. Princess swords and sorcery. Disenchanted okay. cartoon. Yeah, I'll check it out. Is it cartoon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yes, disenchantment. Oh, disenchantment. Yes. Yes. Yarp. Tournament. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Also, um, I'm kind of ex- excited to watch this show on Netflix called uh, The Mind Explained, oh. where they look at brain chemistry and stuff and explain. Like, there's an episode on why people insist that they're right. <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that like oh, what that's cool what happens when you dream that kind of thing it all looks very interesting and yeah. i will be viewing it with mine eye holes there you go well um, we just watched uh we just watched uh harry potter the oh. first one oh just, baby harry it, potter yeah that was on our apple tv uh, <laughs> so it was uh it was pretty darn cool like it was weird seeing him as like an eleven year old boy, right? Uh, you know, I'm like, okay, he's all grown up now, but that was weird. So. <laughs> it's like when uh, I think it's the second one, right? Like if you watch the first one and then the second one. Oh yeah, yeah. Then like, they're like, "Bye, Harry. I'll see you later. I'll see you next summer." And then they like come to pick him up, and they're like, "Harry, what happened?" Yeah, <laughs> like all their voices dropped. Oh my gosh! So great. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't like young voice them like in the editing. Harry later. Potter: The Secret of Puberty. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, can you imagine, though, your life being thrown out into the movies like that for however many, seven or eight? A long like, time. That's, that's, a, that's a good portion of your life where everybody's watching you grow up. Yeah, everybody's watching you go through puberty. Like, yeah. as if it weren't bad enough to begin with. Then, right? let's exactly. put it on the big screen. Yeah, so everybody will see it forever <laughs> and ever. Yes. They will be using Harry Fair Potter about. for all the sex ed films later. Oh, God. Maybe maybe that's not the right choice. Of um... <laughs> uh, uh, DJ sometimes. <laughs> well, uh, I, I just meant to explain that... Never mind, I'm just not even... All right, uh, so what's next on the list there, next, buddy? Hey, next on the list, next week's uh, films. Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Um, the Joker, if you can find it in your theater... Right. Uh, yes. Um, which it is playing at ours, so we'll probably go watch it. Um, oh, wait. We're not even going to be in town at our theater, so we'll see. We'll see if we can see it and find it in Vegas, which we'll probably be able to. Um, and then uh, what else? Lucy in the Sky um, is another one that's coming out. Remember seeing the trailer like two or three or four years ago? Wow. <laughs> it just finally came out. Um so, no, I, it was actually maybe months ago, but I'm surprised I haven't seen a trailer for it yet. But it's coming out this weekend. If you if you want to check it out, look it up on uh, YouTube or whatever. You'll find Lucy in the Sky trailer. Yeah. Um, oh, I saw... Um, we started watching a show called Prodigal Son. Oh. On... Uh, I want to say it's on Fox, but that's probably wrong. It's mm. really good. It has kind of a Hannibal Lectory sort of feel to it. Oh. It's really good. It's about an FBI guy whose dad is a serial killer, and he's going to talk to his dad to get some insight about all these murderers. It's really, it seems pretty cool. Also, we saw a trailer for something that made us go, wiggity, w- oh, it's like a sequel to The Shining. Oh, yes. What is that called? Um, that is Doctor Sleep. Is Doctor that right? Doctor Sleep. Yes, Doctor <gasps> Sleep. Holy crap! Yeah, that looks incredible. Yeah. I just want. I just want to go see it really and see if they're <laughs> back at the Stanley Hotel and right. Yes, it's Ewan yes. McGregor. I like oh, him. Oh, thank oh you, yeah, Lucas. he's good. Love him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure I want to go see it, but I'm, yeah, you might be. Might. If you do, go and watch The Shining first. I, yeah, well, I've seen The Shining. Okay, I um, don't know. I don't know but, what all you've seen. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it was a long time ago. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> How um, old were you? I was, Red Ram! Yeah, I was a kid, uh, yeah. technically. It's, um, if you watch it now, you probably won't be so scared of it. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, there's no horses. That's true. That's a good thing. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Yeah, probably go see that. Um... Also this weekend, Semper Fi. Oh. Uh, in theaters and on demand. So oh. you could check that out. Um, this one looked interesting, though. Wrinkles the Clown. It looks like a documentary of uh, the actual guy who was Wrinkles the Clown. Um, and that was apparently parents could call and pay him to come and scare kids. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So he... He was apparently was not very good as a regular clown, so he marketed himself as a scary clown, and people <laughs> actually paid him to scare their kids. Well, I mean, know your audience, so right, right, exactly. If so, you can't, if you can't beat him, join him. Right, exactly. So it does look like an f- interesting film. Wrinkles the clown, also in theaters, um, but it's also on demand. So if you can, if you don't want to go out and see it, just stay home and see it. Okay. I think it's what twenty bucks or something like that to watch those things in your in the comfort of your own home. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know. I say keep the scary outside and don't <laughs> watch it at home. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. Yeah. So, um, shall we give you early box office numbers? Yeah, do it. Okay, it's a bit early. Uh, we won't know until like what it's like eight o'clock now, so we don't mm-hmm. know until midnight or whatever in Hawaii. Depends on how much money they can bring in there. But, um, looks like number five is Add a Straw. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you talk about that last week? We did. We okay. did. Add Astra. You'll have to listen. You'll like it. 
Um, at Astra, so uh, made ten million this this year. Ten million or Way this to week? Go, sorry, at a straw. Yeah, ten million one hundred and forty three thousand dollars. By the way, that's five. It was two last week, so it's wow. quite a dip. So it's doing way. Yeah, sticking its guns at number four. It was last week, and this this week again. It chapter two. Oh, at a hundred or no, at ten million four hundred thousand. So. It's still caught in the deadlights at number two. Yeah, deadlights at number four. Number oh, four, three, sorry. yeah, number three came from five last week, so it's now, wow. yeah, Hustlers, $11.4 oh. million. Dollars. Hmm. Not bad. Um, we enjoyed it, by the way. It's probably why. It, it's a good film. It really is a good one. Um, number two, Falling from Grace at number one. Number two, Downton Abbey, $14 oh. million. Dollars. Oh. That's a lot of money, though. That's yeah. That's kicking ass for a, yeah. a slow motion train. Ooh, uh, number seven. I, I'm looking at that right now. I wanted to go see it, and we just haven't gone to go see it yet. Judy. Oh which yeah, is a good movie. Like I was watching the trailer the other day. Oh my gosh! And Judy came out. It's number seven now. Made three million. Pretty good. Um, and uh, who plays Judy? Um, it's Renee uh, Zellweger. Yes, Renee Zellweger. So that looks looks like a fun film. Anyway, um, I digress. Number one at twenty million dollars, abominable. Yay, cute Yay. puppy Yeti. Yay, it was good. It really was. They did a good job with it. I'm glad. Um, so yeah, so there you have it. Um, I didn't even know this movie came out. Nothing to lose too. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It didn't do very well. Five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, so that's the box office. That's what we have for so far. I don't think Abominable is leaving uh, in the next couple of hours. The number one spot. Yeah, probably uh, not. Unless Downtown Abbey makes another, I don't know, eight million by the time the uh, by the end of the night. Yeah, I don't, I don't think know. it's going to happen. Yeah. So, but just so you know. Uh, if you're looking at the numbers on a Monday or Tuesday, it's probably going to look different than what we just explained. Right. That is because that is time my... just keeps going. God, time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. Aha! <laughs> uh-huh. So, future films and trailers. That's where we're at now. Holy moly! We made it to this part of the show. Um, and we did talk a little bit about uh, Doctor Sleep that you really mm-hmm. want to see. Yeah. Um, I keep seeing this wonderful uh, film, uh, Adam's Family, the trailer. Cannot wait for that. That's coming up soon, though, right? In a couple of weeks. Um, We saw again, and I'm really looking forward to it, and probably because this was on the front of Abominable movie. Mm -hmm. It was a trailer for Trolls World Tour. Um, And I really think that um, because it doesn't release until April 17th, so it's a long ways away. Um, but I'm thinking that they released that trailer because, um, well, it was a kid's movie and they need more kids trailers. Right. That <laughs> so. was, what was weird was we went to go see Downton Abbey and there was like a bunch of, like the fireman, the fireman movie was on Yes. That? Yes. And I'm like, what the hell? Oh yeah. And then there um, was another movie that I was just like. Playing with fire, I think is what it's called. Yeah, that is exactly what it's called. Oh. Um, it was, it was odd to me that like. Ooh, Lady Violet and the Dowager Countess and all of this stuff. And it's like, John Cena with weird hair and a big sloppy dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's Boom Boom? I was like, yeah. what? Oh, my gosh. that And, and I've been to, the tra- been to the theater a lot and that seen that trailer a lot. Yeah. And any time there's a What's Boom Boom, that scene, yeah. the men in the theater go crazy. And every once in a while, the little ladies just go <laughs> nuts when they really? hear it. Hilarious. It's amazing to hear the people that go crazy with that. That's funny. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. As far as those movies go, um, just looking through, I, I put a lot on the show notes because I'm like, which one do I want to talk about? Well, oh, yeah. yeah. Arctic Dogs looks pretty good. There's like kind of an all-star cast. Arctic Dogs. Hmm. 
I haven't um, seen that one yet. Yeah, it's just like uh, they're like they're dogs that like deliver packages in the Arctic. So, and then one dog wants to be the best, and he's just a kid, and you know he's trying to prove himself, and he's going to take the one package that uh, that, that, that everybody wants to make successful. Yeah, exactly. So, and he does it. He takes his trip all the way across the icy lands. And he takes his buddies with him who think it's a bad idea. And and only trouble ensues. Anyway, it looks cute. It's like a fun film when it comes out. Animated. Uh, yeah. Oh, Nico's well. excited for it. He is. Nico There's says, a... I want to be an Arctic dog. Yes, yes. That's because we're talking about Arctic dogs that she decided to chime in. Uh, um, I think there's somebody knocking at the door right next to us. So, um, give me a second, two seconds. And, all right, here we go. Um, what's next? Oh, yeah. Next week's uh, topic. Y'all ready for this? All right. Next week's topic, we're going to talk about films shot in your hometown. Um, preferably ones you like, but if you can't find anything that you like, you might as well just say, hey, this film was shot there, and it's popular. <laughs> see, this is, see, all of a sudden, yeah, exactly. I brought this up to him, uh, Lucas. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lucas is, uh, he says he's screwed. Uh, but <laughs> here's the thing, Lucas, um, stretch your town as far as you can go, like, county-wide, or... Um, the town next to you, or something that you feel proud of. Or as DJ said earlier, you know, in Iowa. Ah, uh, yes, the, the town state. of Iowa. The town of Iowa, it's right. Um, so anyway, um, that's okay. Take, yeah. pick, pick whatever you want. You know, if you have to go to another state, oh, or a, a hometown, or a town you used to live in that you don't live in anymore, or a town that you... I don't know. Figure it out. Give me give me some movies. Maybe this will be uh, some interesting stuff. I can't wait to hear it's um, gonna be what fun. it is. Be, you know, you don't have to, like, totally be uh, a stickler about it, you know? But mm. you might want to do some research. Find it out, you know? Um, <laughs> oh. Uh, he's, Lucas says he's only lived in one town. Uh, okay. So why don't you, you can use my hometown, which is San Francisco. There are a lot of, yeah, uh, yeah. there are a lot like, of movies. There are enough movies that take place there uh, for both of us. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and see, I'm, I'm spreading mine to the whole County rather than my home little town. Yeah. You know, just cause my County cause, is pretty popular, but cause not, Placerville, not a lot of, not a lot, not of, a lot few, of filming there, a few, but not a lot of, yeah. yeah so, but anyway, in fact, you might want to like spread to Sacramento. Could add. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so if you can think of it, that sounds like fun. Uh, give it a shot. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, if you if you have something like that, send it to us at five one two podcast or email it to us at shoutout at tfwmovies dot com. S h o u t o u t at t f w m o v i e s dot com. And I'm not spelling calm. For you. Should already know how to speak. That's right. That's right. That's why uh, I used to just sing it because I didn't. It was ridiculous to have to spell it. Out. I love singing it though. That's Everybody funny. knows how to spell. Oh. That's true. Um, and then you could also uh, send us to us. Send it to us on our uh, whatever the, the the social media is at TFW Movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. What else? Oh, yes. Plug something, shall we? Uh, I can plug Big Chacho's standard tattoo parlor. Chacho! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, finished my video. Oh, I should... If I find the link, I'll send you the video. Because I okay. finished the, making the video for them. Cool. Um, so you'll see what it's like. Um, but, yeah, if you're going to be in the uh, San Diego area, go to the... Uh, what is it? Chula Vista on Broadway. Oh, wow. The Big Chacho... Or Chacho's standard tattoo parlor. Uh, go get a tattoo. Whether you like it or not, go do mm-hmm. it. That's right. So, but everybody loves him. Trust me. He's great. Yeah, he's I've got... not had a tattoo from him, but I think he's probably the only guy that I'd ever let give me a tattoo. He's a talented guy. I've seen his work. It looks 
like the pictures look like actual pictures. It's if you get a tattoo from Checho, it doesn't look like you'd be on one of those like fail websites. Yeah, definitely not a fail website. So. Um, <laughs> and he's really good at trying to make sure you're not allergic and, and all that stuff. Um, cool. He, he's really conscientious. 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 Yes. Yes. Conscientious that. about it. Boy, the the Lacroix isn't working very well. Yeah, that Lacroix uh, is really messing with you. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Um, I also want to plug the 29 Toes podcast because they're great. I like listening to them and that's what it is. Um, okay. so there, go over there, check them out. Listen <laughs> to them. Too many bubbles. <laughs> too many bubbles. Oh, the LaCroix. Yes, yes. The, cr- um, the LaCroix. LaCroix too many bubbles. bubbles is totally messing up DJ's vibe. Yes. In fact, doesn't it LaCroix mean, uh, the bubbles in, in, uh, France, Japan, Japanese? No? Sure. Yeah, Whatever let's go with that. Yes, in French. <laughs> it actually means too many bubbles. <laughs> That's what it means. There we go. Um, so I digress about the 29 Toes podcast. By the way, I've uh, I've been invited to be a guest on their show. So Ooh. probably going to record on Saturday. Nice. Which means that one's probably going to be on some Monday. I'm not sure how their schedule goes, but it'll be on some one of their Mondays because they've they tend to release on Mondays. Is that right, Lucas, from 29 Toes Podcast? Yeah. You release your shows on Mondays or whenever you get done editing? <laughs> sort of. Pretty much. I, he's not typing anything right there now. He oh, goes. he's typing. Yes, there it is. Uh, there's three little dots going. Usually, usually late, late Sunday, Sunday night. night. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm usually asleep late Sunday night when it gets released. So. But not yeah. now, because you're on vacation. Ugh. Not right now. That's right. I'm going on vacation. I'm going to Vegas, baby. Yeah. Oh. Vegas. Nice. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, my episode. Oh, cool. It'll be on the 7th. So, cool. I'll have another, another, little, 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 uh, another podcast. Jeez the wheeze, no, DJ. Won't. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. My my tongue is not working the way it's supposed to. Hey, uh, you know, uh, Joe would uh, plug his show right now, by the way. Right. He, he streams uh, three nights a week. week. Apostle uh, underscore OFC yes. on the Twitch stream. Yeah, uh, twitch.tv slash Apostle underscore OFC. Mm-hmm. And That's on it. Tuesdays, he does Star Wars movies yes. or Star Wars games. On yes. Wednesdays, he does. He doesn't? Is something and then and then on is, is on, he doing Mech Warrior? Is that what that's it? Mech Mech Warrior and then and then on uh on Wednesday, Thursdays he does uh, a horror night. Yeah, because so it's Halloween. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look at that! We plugged it for him. We did! Yay! Pat hey. us on the back. <laughs> we did Yay. a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, did you want to plug anything by chance? Uh, this weekend, the Halloween show at the theater opened up. It's Ooh. called ha- Hilda's Haunted Hilltops or a Werewolf's Tale. It's got a lot of kids in it. It's stupid cute. Oh. And all of the, all all of the, it's really kind of charming. So it's good for all ages if you want to come on out. Um. It's it'll be running until just before Halloween. Till, till before Halloween. <laughs> Got yeah. it. Sweet. So it's it's pretty cute. I'm not in yeah. it though. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we have you tonight and that's right. And, uh, Monday nights and Correcticals. Got it. Cool. Okay. Um well I guess that's that. This yeah. is the show. This is the end of the show. Uh what I should do now is say you've been listening to Thanks for Watching. Yeah, and do it. And then spill my guts. You guys, I'm so grateful for you. I am so thankful for your listening ears. Uh, You Patreon members, I am grateful for your uh, donations, your your subscriptions. Uh, Much appreciated. Lucas, Abby, Tyler, Teacher, J.M. Strauss. Um, Much uh, appreciated, you guys are. And I see I'm speaking. I just can't speak. Um, You're Yoda-ing. I, I am Yoda-ing. But personally, I have to say thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you are helping us pay for things, little things, like our our web service. Mm-hmm. You know, that kind of thing. Um, you also help, pay us for, help us for upgrades, which are going to be happening soon, which will be Ooh, really nice. That's yes, good to know. It is. Um, also, thank you to those who helped put the show together. Joshua Struthers, thank you very much. Big Checho, you know, we plugged you already, but man, you do a lot for us. So I'm grateful. Checho. Grateful you get to be there. 
Um, I want to thank our hosts because our, our cast, because uh, without you, we wouldn't even have a show. We would, we would talk, be talking. Um, DJ McGee, Jimmy Harris, Beth Labine, Hello. and Joe Ray. Uh, that's the cast. Um, also, I want to thank those people that are behind the scenes holding us together, holding our butts up to the microphone, if you will. Uh, my butt doesn't Wait. go up to the microphone. Never mind. Like, no, I mean, I pictured them on a stool. And, never mind. I, <laughs> I just <laughs> open my mouth and insert my foot any way possible. You take anyway. some, uh, drink some LaCroix and wash your foot down, why don't you? <laughs> That's a good idea. These are people uh, who help support us behind the scenes. They help support us. That's right. Um, <laughs> you know what? One of our Patreon members, Crackhead Blue, thank you very much. Ooh, Dorothy Fielden, Mom. Jackie Harris, Jackie. and Penny McGee. <laughs> Damn. Um, wow, that, that P was strong in the microphone. Just, I heard it go pop. I did it again. All right, I'll stop doing that. Um, but any, anyway, lastly, I want to thank you, the audience. Uh, you listening to us right now, um, unless you turned us off a little bit before the thank yous. They're just like, ah, oh, thank yous are so long. I know, they are, but they, they mean something to me, so I have to do them anyway. Whether or not you like it, I like it. You guys are important to me. Thank you very much for being our listening audience. Tell your friends... Tell your neighbors, tell your enemies. Yeah, yeah you don't have to tell you your know, enemies. But. No, do. I mean, if you didn't like the show, tell your enemies. I'm sure they deserve it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's what we say at the end of every OCT show. Is it? Oh, that's funny. That's yeah. good stuff. Anyway, so thank you for listening to us. Um, that being said, cut. Cut.